Hello students, welcome to tutoringcluster.com. So till now we have seen what is thermodynamics, what are system and surrounding, what are properties of system, then different types of system like open, closed and isolated system. Then we have seen, we have talked about heat and work interaction, right? Now, in this video, we are going to talk of state of system. What is state of a system? What are reversible and irreversible processes? Now, so state of a system, that means, suppose you are having a system. This is your system. Now, at certain duration of time, let's say t1 what is the pressure of a system what is a volume of a system what is a temperature of a system so these parameters first thing these are independent parameters and it is telling you the state of a system for example let's say at t1 time t1 second let's say after 2 second the pressure is let's say 2 bar volume is 2 meter cube temperature is 25 degrees celsius next after certain duration of time let's say pressure is p2 volume is v2 and temperature is t2 so basically state of a system state of a system it is characterized by certain specific thermodynamic property so pressure volume and temperature these are called as specific thermodynamic parameters right so these parameters they are telling you what is the state of a system now this can be appears in pairs for example pressure and volume or volume and temperature or temperature and pressure okay and these are what these are independent parameters right these are independent parameters okay so i hope it is clear what is the state of system so in simple language at t1 second what is the pressure volume and what is the temperature of a system it is going to tell you what is the state at that particular time now let's say if any one of the any one of the thermodynamic parameter thermodynamic parameter changes for example let's say volume changes or pressure of the system changes or temperature of the system changes then we can say the system is said to undergone change of state okay that means state of the system changes change of state okay for example let's say i am having pressure and volume graph so this is at t1 second now after certain duration of time let's say pressure decreases but volume increases this is a state 2 then after certain duration of time further pressure reduces but volume increases so this is state 3 and let's say at t4 second further pressure reduces but volume increases what is happening here so your system it is changing its state from 1 to 2 2 to 3 
3 to 4. So, if you join all this point, if you are going to join all this point, that means locus of series of change of state it is nothing but a process so this is called as a process this is the definition of a process basically it is what it is a locus of series of change of state that means your system is changing from 1 to 2 see initially it was here then after certain duration time it is coming here then it is changing here then it is coming to 4 that means there are changes in thermodynamic property so we have plotted the state of a system at different timing t1 t2 t3 and t4 and i have drawn a locus locus means let's say a curve which is joining all these points so this is called as a process right so this is representing what this is nothing but your process now this process can be of two types this process can be of two types it can be a reversible process or it can be irreversible process now what is what do you mean by a reversible process now for example do you know electroplating okay what is happening in electroplating so let's say so in electroplating you are having an anode and cathode right so electroplating it is used to deposit a material so if you change anode and cathode if you are changing the anode and cathode then the process will reverse process will reverse right so this is one example Another example, any process which has no friction, these are also considered under this category. These are also considered as a reversible process. But in universe, there are no reversible process exist. Q, because thoda bhakta friction rehne wala hai. Right? It is very difficult, very difficult to get a zero friction right so if we talk a reversible process doesn't exist in nature you can consider it for example electroplating or a process with no friction but these are very difficult to get right now what are irreversible process for example water falling from top of the dam yes it is irreversible look here if the wall is falling from the top ok let's say water is coming from the hilly area and it is falling in the dam then the dam is going to the hilly station or not going to the dam right so it is an irreversible process ok then another example a combustion happening in cylinder or let's say engine combustion in an engine again it is a irreversible process okay you are having a fuel you are burning it okay so it is going to produce a gas what is gas se fuel milta hai kya milta hai so it is a irreversible so if you want to define a reversible process these are the process which can be made to exactly retrace its path so basically a reversible process retrace its path 
okay and what what are irreversible process these are the process which cannot made cannot made to retrace its path okay see iska meaning kya hai let's say you are having a hilly area okay and let's say water it is falling like this and it is getting stored here this is the dam okay abhi wapis dam se water yahan bech sakte hai kya that means it cannot retrace its path this is the path this is the first path incoming right it is getting stored wapis se पानी ऊपर जा रहा है क्या दैट मीन्स इट कैन नॉट रिट्रेस इट पार्थ दैट्स वाई दीज आर कंसिडर एज इन रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस राइट सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अ मीनिंग ऑफ अ स्टेट ऑफ अ सिस्टम देन व्हाट डू मीन बाय अ चेंज ऑफ अ सिस्टम एंड अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रोसेस सो हियर वी आर डिफाइनिंग अ प्रोसेस वॉट इज अ प्रोसेस सो बेसिकली it is a locus of series of change of system right then the process can be a reversible and a irreversible process so reversible means the process which retrace its path that means it again go back to its original position while irreversible process it cannot go to its original position it cannot retrace its path very important point irreversible process does not exist ideal irreversible process does not exist in nature okay because there is always a friction okay zero friction it is very difficult to okay so i hope with this video it is clear that how a process is defined now a series of process if you consider a series of process it is going to form a thermodynamic cycle so what is thermodynamic cycle so so let's say i am having again a pv chart so this is first position this is the second state and this is one process now if again from second let's say system again come back to its initial state then this is forming what this is forming a cycle so basically what is thermodynamic cycle it is a series of process which is forming what thermodynamic cycle now how many minimum number of process required to get a thermodynamic cycle so minimum number required is how much two right so you can consider this is what your final state of a system this is your initial state of a system so i hope with this it is clear what is a thermodynamic cycle basically it is a series of process and minimum number of process required are how many two so thank you for watching this videos in the next video we are going to talk a very important topic that is about a thermodynamic equilibrium and zeroth law of thermodynamics please do like and subscribe my youtube channel and please do share with your friends also thank you